Am I the only one out here wondering where the hell is Shane Dawson? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, today's video is about the wonderful Shane Dawson, who hasn't uploaded a video in like two months. And like for me, I have this thing, I mentioned it in one of Garrett Watts' videos, is that I don't like to subscribe to people who do not have consistent uploads, but this is not a hate video on Shane. This is actually a video about taking breaks, mental health breaks, being a workaholic, and all of that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to show you a clip from Shane's Instagram story from the other day that I can really relate to and really connect with. And basically Shane said that this Instagram story and the reason why he made it was because of this. I are thinking it because I saw a comment or it wasn't even a comment, it was like a tag, it's like a, like, opinion or whatever. And it was like, oh, Shane's leaving YouTube, bro, he doesn't care about YouTube. It's like, no, I care so much that I just, it takes me longer to make it. So anyways, I just wanted to say that I don't want you guys to think I don't care or that I'm not posting because I don't care or because I, I'm not doing anything because I, I promise I am. And we already have the next three series, I guess. Um, lined up. Now, before I jump into this, before I jump to the, into this, we are just about to hit Christmas, and I know so many of you out there are wondering like, oh my God, what can I get Chris for Christmas? I don't know, he makes so many videos and they're so awesome, ah. You know what all I want for Christmas is? Do you know all I want for Christmas is for you to follow me on Instagram. Just follow me on Instagram at The Rewired Soul. It would make me so happy to just hit 10,000 subscribers and get the freaking swipe up feature. That's all I want for Christmas. It's free. So please head over to Instagram and follow me at The Rewired Soul. It's up on the screen again. Just go follow me. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your mom, your dad, your grandma, your cousin. On Christmas Eve dinner, tell everybody to go follow me over at The Rewired Soul on Instagram. But anyways, back to the topic at hand. I'm gonna play this clip from Shane Dawson. It was actually like a little over three minutes, but I'm gonna show you pretty much the first half and we're gonna talk about it. Hey guys, okay. I'm starting to feel really antsy. <laughs> um, because I haven't posted in so long. I know this is so crazy. It's only been um, two months. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I just got the actual chills when I said that. I've never gone that long without posting, so. Um, but I just want you to know that we are working on stuff. Sorry, I'm like nervous. I'm like, I don't know. I just, I, I... <laughs> it's a good test for me because, I mean, you know, I've been posting videos for 10 or more years very consistently. I used to do every day. Bro, sorry, triggered. So this is good. This is, this is a good test for me because this next year I want to spend more time on the individual projects and then take time in between and then like, you know, I don't know. I just want to like treat my YouTube channel kind of like if I had my own, I don't know, like the way that they do like Netflix. That sounds gross, but you know what I mean. Not like I think I'm Netflix. I'm not Netflix. What am I talking about? So yeah, a while back when Shane and Ryland first moved into their new house, um, or they were about to move. I can't remember which one it was, but they were uh, they were talking about being workaholics. Um, Shane was talking about being a workaholic. Actually, it was before they moved in. And I could definitely relate to that. Like those of you who have been subscribed to me for like more than a week, you know that I hustle, I work hard, right? So Shane, like I remember when um, Tristan first introduced me to Shane, he was doing like daily uploads. They were like daily, right? Like Monday through Friday. Yeah, he was doing like daily uploads. Um, my son loved watching him too. It was when he was doing like food things and like trying like life hacks and all of that. So like I was used to very consistent uploads from Shane, but as you've seen, he's pivoted. And I'm gonna make another video about him probably in a few weeks um, just about his, his transformation on YouTube because I think a lot of people can benefit from that. But I can definitely relate to what Shane's talking about when he's saying like he's actually like getting anxious and nervous when 
he's talking about how he hasn't posted in two months. Real quick, if you look at this video right here, I just wanna show you a little body language real quick. Right here, him rubbing, this is usually an unconscious thing that we're doing, and it's to pacify ourselves. Like, that's how you know somebody is nervous or feeling anxious, all right? So I, was, I thought it was pretty interesting. Like, you know, you could tell that he's actually feeling anxious about not working. But anyways, like, basically what Shane goes on to say is that, you know, what he's planning for like 2019 and, you know, the next series that he's going to do, like you guys saw like the Jake Paul documentary and I'm like, everything that Shane's been doing, he's been learning and growing from it, right? Like, I, I'm sure some of you who are Shane Dawson fans have seen like the growth between his Tana Mojo documentary, the little three part one, to where he was with Jake Paul, like just a massive amount of growth, right? So I really look forward to seeing that. But like what I want you to take away from what Shane's doing right now is like, if you are a workaholic, like something I've been talking about is mental health breaks, all right? Now, something I've talked about with like Lily Singh and some others who have taken mental health breaks is like, when you're taking a mental health break, make sure you're doing something with that mental health break, all right? Like a lot of people just take a mental health break right? And they don't do anything. They just sit around. They don't do anything. And Shane, what Shane's been doing is he's been spending a lot of time with Ryland. Like throughout the Jake Paul documentary series, like they talked about how, you know, like Ryland was going to sleep and Shane was staying up all night editing. And part of what they were talking about after the documentary ended was that they were spending a lot more time together. So this is something that is definitely beneficial for your mental health. And what I want you all to know, like any of you who are like in a relationship, like it's about finding that that type of balance. Like I have my amazing Tristan sitting over here on the couch right now and something I try to do, which I'm not always great at, is try to like find designated time where it's just like, okay, I'm just gonna sit down, let's watch some Netflix or do whatever. You know what I mean? Um, same thing with my son. Um, I just took my son back home. I, I scheduled some time to just sit there and watch him play the new Spider-Man game. By the way, have you guys played the new Spider-Man game yet? Because it is phenomenal, all right? <laughs> but I find myself dealing with that same issue where if I'm not just go, 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 like I start to get anxious. That's the way my workaholic brain is. That's one of the reasons why I do so much content. It's one of the reasons like as my channel's growing, a lot of you are, uh, I've seen a lot of people saying like, do you heart every comment? Like, yeah, when I'm just chilling, like on the couch or whatever, I'm just like refreshing the comments and seeing what you guys are saying and like I'll heart it, I'll like it, sometimes I reply or whatever. Like I wanna be very engaged. Like something I'm trying to do is make sure that I always stay connected with you guys. Like as this channel continues to grow, I don't wanna lose that connection and lose who I am and lose what I'm trying to, you know, do here. But at the same time, I'm very mindful of my mental health, okay? So something that I often tell like my fellow creators when they're talking about being overloaded or being stressed or whatever, like I give them some of my tips. So those of you who have been following my channel, you know I post pretty much daily, right? And lately I've been posting like two videos a day, like one in the morning, one in the evening, all right? But I've never promised anybody that. And the reason why I do that is so I have wiggle room, like if I'm having a bad day, if my depression hits, if my anxiety hits, if an emergency happens or whatever, like I can take that time off. But I also feel confident in my channel being fine because I have such a back catalog. So if people find me, they have plenty of other videos to watch. This is something I see with a lot of YouTubers is that they're afraid that they're going to lose subscribers if they don't post. They they think that if they take a break, they, the algorithm is going to punish them. But actually, let's take a look at that. Shane Dawson hasn't posted in two months. Let's see if that, if that theory is true. Like, look at this, you guys. Like, going back to, like, November, look, 38,000, 55,000. Scroll down a little bit more. He's still getting thousands upon thousands. It looks like he lost some um, with a little YouTube purge. But then, look, boom, right back up. You guys, if any other YouTuber is watching this video, Shane has just proved that you can take a break and still gain subscribers. Are you guys following me right now? So get that insane idea out of your head that you cannot take a break. 
oh my God, this is amazing. I'm going to start showing this video to every single YouTuber who ever says they're afraid to take a mental health break. This is great. But for some of you who aren't YouTubers, like a lot of people are afraid that, you know, you'll get behind on work or you won't have a job when you get back or the whole business will crumble to pieces and all of these other things. If those are topics that you want me to dive more into, let me know. But I do want you to take a look at your mental health. Are you overworking yourself? Are you somebody who gets anxious if you're not doing something like, are, are you having trouble finding that work-life balance? Let me know down in the comments below, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please, 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 for a Christmas present, please go follow me on Instagram and tell everybody else to do the same. All I want to do is be able to swipe up. <laughs> but a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And I will see you all soon.